Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus. I'm joined by uh, Wilson Chow, uh, oh, Future Systems. Uh, I'm a technology uh, consultant lead, and uh, the company's uh, located in Seattle, Washington. And we do uh, workstation and desktops uh, for a majority of our clients uh, who are looking for uh, really solutions. So uh, what happens is uh, they'll have a certain software package and we'll uh, take a look at what the best hardware is to run uh, that particular program and then write sort of white papers and articles and kind of disseminate that knowledge uh, to uh, the clientele and other users who are interested in that same uh, product line. And how sort of uh, VR sort of integrates with that is that uh, we have a lot of clients who end up doing things like architectural design where they want to uh, build up say a, like a house or a apartment or so forth and we'll then want to uh, virtually walk into that that building and so we kind of help uh, you know with all aspects of, of, of that. One of the more recent projects we've had was uh, partnering up with uh, Utah State uh, University where they um, it was their powder mounting project uh, they went out uh, with drones and took uh, pictures of uh, a landscape uh, up in Utah, where they're um, helping uh, a developer build a uh, snow resort. And so they've, uh, they mapped out this area, they put in a program called Pix4D, where it created a, a 3D model of the terrain. And then using uh, Google Tilt Brush, uh, they are able to then put buildings and roads within the, uh, the, the map and then uh, put on the headset and kind of walk around the neighborhood and make sure like that building looks right. And if it doesn't look right, they can then easily take that building, move it somewhere else. Uh, they sort of get uh, readings of traffic. You know, does that make sense? Where if we put a pedestrian walkway, uh, you know, does that line up with the shops and the buildings that are, are necessary? So it was a really great uh, project to work with them on that. Um, and it was really fun to be able to build a system for them to improve their workflow um, and allow them to then use a VR uh, to uh, go beyond just looking at a terrain and kind of figuring it out, uh, but instead really experience uh, what it would be like uh, being in that village. So that's one example of you guys using virtual reality. Do you have any other examples of what is it specifically that you do? Is it sort of building the hardware for them or doing the software as well? It is, it is uh, mostly building the hardware, uh, but uh, the other part of what we do is also test the software. Uh, we are a hardware provider. We have parts laying around. Uh, and what we want to do is try to figure out what is the best part to get your job done. Um, and that's a really an, an important aspect of, of what we can bring to, uh, to a client. Um, and improving their workflow, uh, getting it so that they can be creative, uh, they can get their work done in a, in a timely fashion, and we take care of all the hardware issues, all the support, has uh, uh, been really beneficial for our company and our clientele. So over the past few years, um, how would you say the hardware for virtual reality has changed? Has it gotten cheaper? Is it more affordable? What like systems are physically capable of doing? I think, I think where you're sit, uh, where you're seeing it is like you could do a lot more than say like a, a couple of years ago. Where um, we're seeing it now with the, the new lines of Nvidia cards coming out, uh, they just provide more power and starting to now allow you to go a lot more. You're, you're talking about, you know, it, it used to be VR, now it's AR, sort of integrating uh, with your environment as well too and not just kind of coming up with a virtualized in, environment. So just being able to push that boundary a lot more and uh, just spreading the, the VR uh, to both, you know, people who are doing commercial use as well as just sort of entertainment use as well too. I mean, I'm, you're just seeing like a lot more shops popping up with VR experiences as well too. So I think that's more of where sort of this explosion is, is going. Will you say, are you talking about like out of home entertainment? Yeah, exactly. So, right. So you've got the people who are, you know, buying the Vive or the Oculus Rift and experiencing it at home. And then maybe, you know, an individual can't like pay for that sort of 
uh, you know, equipment, but now they could go to like shops out there where they could still experience the, 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 the virtual reality um, and sort of get a sense of that. I mean, it used to be before like a, a couple of years ago, you know, unless you like knew a company, you know, you know, oftentimes it'd be like, hey, have you ever used the Vive? Have you ever used the Oculus Rift? And they're like, no, I just, you know, I can't afford it. And, um, you know, I don't know who anybody has it, you know, has it. But now you go to like amusement parks, you go to like, you know, instead of it used to be like the arcades where you're just playing the, the handheld games and stuff like that. Now you go to like VR arcades and stuff like that where you can actually now experience it. Go to the mall, you can now experience it. So it's, you know, in some sense, it's just kind of being spread out into the masses. And that's kind of really exciting. So you guys are busy. We are busy. <laughs> uh, we... Uh, we, we are enjoying our growth, uh, but we, what we really are enjoying is just really helping our clientele, uh, making sure they get to do uh, what they really want to do, and we take care of all the, the other issues that you know, come with uh, you know, building and supporting hardware. So th this is something that's based in the U.S. only, I'm supposing? That is, that is correct. Uh, currently, um, we only ship within the U.S., um, uh, so... And, and that's sort of part of the reason why for that. It's just, again, uh, we are an experienced company. That is a core belief in us. And if we're going to build a computer, we're going to sell you support, as you know, we, you know, we give you a great service, we want to be able to do that. And right now, all our support is in uh, the U.S. And so, you know, selling to somebody overseas and stuff like that, you know, we could we could get them a great hardware, but when it comes time to like support it, that's a little more trickier uh, for us. And so, uh, what we've always said is like, if we can't support it up to our Puget standards, we're not going to do it. And so we we decided to just kind of focus on the U.S. Who knows? Maybe at some point we'll expand, but um, as of now, we we want to do what we do well and do it well for the clients within the U.S. Is there a website that? Um potential future clients might be able to go to? Absolutely. You just go to uh, www.puget, that's P-U-G-E-T, systems.com, and check us out. We've got uh, a lot of, uh, you know, and really, and even if you don't buy a system from us, we've got a lot of articles that go into detail about different software packages and what you should look for. And so, um, just go in there to soak up the knowledge and then if you have any questions by all means uh, we're always happy to help so just give us a call or email us and uh, we'll we'll do the best we can for you fantastic thank you so much for your time absolutely head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more about immersive technologies and i will see you there thank you very much thank you